Tom here from Orange Systems, and let's talk about the Unify 6.0 controller upgrade that I said not to upgrade to, which was 6.0.20. And as of today, October 20th, 2020, they have released 6.0.28. Still don't upgrade, but let me explain why, and I'm gonna give you a little context for it, and I have a forum post I'll link to. Before we dive into that, let's first, if you'd like to learn more about me or my company, head over to lawrencesystems.com. If you'd like to hire a short project, there's a hires button right at the top. If you'd like to help keep this channel sponsor free and thank you to everyone who already has, there is a join button here for YouTube and a Patreon page. Your support is greatly appreciated. If you're looking for deals or discounts on products and services we offer on this channel, check out the affiliate links down below. They're in the description of all of our videos, including a link to our shirt store. We have a wide variety of shirts that we sell and new designs come out, well, randomly, so check back frequently. And finally, our forums. Forums.lawrencesystems.com is where you can have a more in-depth discussion about this video and other tech topics you've seen on this channel. Now back to our content. So here's a link to my forum post, which I'll leave linked in the video here, that says, don't upgrade to Unify Controller 6.020. And people have been absolutely, for every incremental release, which now we're all the way over to 6028, keep asking me with each release, is it ready, is it ready, is it ready? And I wanted to do a video as a reply for is it ready, and basically at the time of right now, as in, if you're watching this video now, that's when this is relevant. Sometime in the future, this will change, but I don't know when that date is. I'll make a video when I'm ready to go to the new controllers, the best way I can answer it. And I don't think I answered that in that video, which is why I'm getting so many messages. They have been bug fixing quite a few things. And if you're among the people who didn't have issues, wonderful, thank you. You have a great system that you didn't have any of the edge cases, which well, I don't even know if there's edge cases because so many people had problems, but you did not have a scenario that caused a problem with the controller update. That's great, stay on it. There's not really a reason to downgrade that I have seen if you're not among the people having issues. And Unify has been working fast at iterating the versions up to quash bugs as fast as possible. My preference, though, is going to be to wait till the 6.1 release. Now, I'm not going to dive deeply into that. It's something you can sign into their forums and look ahead if you want to see beta releases coming out. But the 6.1, to me, represents some real change in Unify, and that's what I'm waiting on. As of right now, I'm still running 5.14.23. That is the current version of the 5 series that, to my knowledge, and to anyone else that's publicly disclosed any of it, there is not any vulnerabilities in it. Therefore, I don't have a real reason to upgrade. 6.0 didn't offer enough features to make me really want to upgrade to it. And matter of fact, it's missing a couple things, especially some of the way the data analytics is collected. The fine tuning has been removed, but rumor has it, and granted this is complete rumor, that it's going to be added back in the 6.1 series because it beta, so I can't really concretely say anything in there is going to actually hold true at time of release of the 6.1 series. Who knows, it may get bumped away forever, but that's one of the things missing in the 6.0 was the ability to adjust the way your data analytics works on there and how much data it starts consuming. This is a problem for people who host lots of controllers and the way Hostify is dealing with this issue and looking into it is the fact that they go on the back end. So me and Riley are still can continue to talk about this. And on the back end of their systems, what they do is manually tune the MongoDB. Are you skilled enough to manually tune MongoDB? Well, if you are awesome, you can just go in there and manually do all the settings like Riley does uh, over at Hostify, or you can wait till they have a version that doesn't force you to do some manual tuning when you do the updates. And this is part of the testing that they do over at Hostify, and I also do testing here as well. And we do have a controller set up with the latest version. We still find it to be buggy. I didn't update to the 2.8 yet. That's on my list. It's just our beta controller. And I'll continue to do some testing. But I at least wanted to get a video out to address that question of when should you upgrade. I don't know exactly. And I don't have any type of release date. You can feel free to sign up to the forums. This is my source of information. I play with the stuff that I find in the forums. I read through the errata and all the comments and try to sort through the noise of people just complaining versus people who actually take the time to learn stuff like Riley, who follow him if you don't already at Hostify because he's been posting about different findings and how he's learning how software works. And therefore, 
sit on the five version unless you can keep an eye out, of course, unless there's some security problem that occurs. And I will be, of course, posting about it, and I'm sure many others will be posting about it as well. So if we find some major flaw in that older version, yeah, I would hurry up and uh, switch to the 6.0 series because that would be the current release series right now. And as of today, it's 6.0.28. But my overall feeling is I'm going to wait till the 6.1 because that's actually based on the betas, not actually knowing when it's going to be released, so I can't tell you when it's going to happen, but actually offers feature upgrades that I'm interested in and uh, has a lot of the things back that are seemingly broken in a 6.0 series, very specifically that data collection part and being able to fine tune that. So that's my stance on, I'll leave a link to my forum post where I've been updating people as well and interacting because uh, it's harder to see all the YouTube comments. I've ranted about this before. The YouTube commenting system is kind of garbage for seeing replies and I have to follow them through emails. This is one of the reasons we have forums where I can have a more active and engaging discussion. And I'll link to the specific forum post that has one, the old video of why you shouldn't upgrade. And I'll link this video there as well. And the forum post explains my stance on it. And that's how I feel as of October 20th, 2020. It's always important to add date as a context when you talk about software versions, because if there was some problem found after this date, of course I'd upgrade. I don't leave things hanging out there unpatched if there's any major issues with them. Uh, so that's how I feel right now. This video is kind of just a reply for people. And so is the forum post. It's kind of all goes hand in hand. And uh, I, you know, it's not like there's any major issues at all in terms of functionality that I don't want to keep using the five series one. So for now, I'll keep using it. And when a new update comes available, check the forum posts. Uh, actually, if you sign up for my forums, it'll send alerts when I comment on that. So you can feel free to subscribe to that post and get links and all that fun stuff. All right, thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching, and see you next time.